uh, today I'm going to talk about defeat arch nemesis 3. Now this challenge isn't as hard as you think it is. Now while it is still pretty annoying and I regard this as one of the hardest challenges this league, it becomes very simple if you take a bit of time to actually look into what you need and how you can make it easier. So to make that easy for you so you don't have to be uh, looking too deep into this like I did, I made a spreadsheet on my spreadsheet that you can see down in the comments where I post everything I do, pretty much just a collection of all my things. You can see that I have a spreadsheet here of recipes 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now 1 and 2 are there too, but they are quite hard. The 1 is absolutely absurd, but it needs, what it requires how many steps and two is also so if you are not already combining this challenge with the one where you run everything once and you have already run those without uh, checking if that is uh, the proper combo well lucky here you will need only about five hours to get this one done i would have liked to make this like a 30 second video like the other challenge one is just not possible i need to mention a few things so just bear with me for a bit longer in this spreadsheet i have noted down how many you need of the T1s that you drop off the ground you need once, which you need twice, which you need three times, and the ones that you need four times. And I've color coded them in here too, so you can kind of see where they are. If I would have colored everything in a different color, it was too many colors at once, so that was the best solution. Also noted the T2s, how many of these you need. If you already have any of the T2s, just check which T1s are needed and adjust the spreadsheet accordingly to you. And finally, you will need one T3 two times before you have the final stages. Now the T3, like Shakari touched, Brighting touched, I am not considering in those spreadsheets as those are the final ones you want to have the collection of to run them. Now, if we take a look back in game, I have actually farmed everything for that. I've got that, except I made everything in like 2-3 hours and then it took me 2 more hours of mapping until I finally got the final frenzy. However, for you could be slightly different, could be the same. I think this is not that hard. You just need to know what you're looking for and sort it out in your inventory and craft accordingly once you have enough pieces. And then you have this. Now there's going to be one final test which I will be doing in this video. If you are not interested in that anymore, you can now head off. I will test if the order, because here they are alphabetical order, if the order here is the one you need to put it into, or if you can do pretty much anything. So stay a while and see me going to finish this challenge live, or well, in this recording live. I guess not live live, but anyway, I will now run those maps. Hey, let's see how this goes. Oh. Alright, with this is confirmed that the combination works in any order. As if you take a look, Blood Ladder was first. I entered Blood Ladder fast. So this is one. Then this is going to be number two. Going for number three. Let's see if the loot's good. Oh, but the fire ones are do a bit tanky. With that, one to go. And lastly, the final one. That is a challenge done. Easier than you think. Now. Quickly, one final thing before the video is over. The loot, ignoring the pure essences, ignoring the imitation, we've got an uh, interesting helm, interesting flask, a few scarabs from the final one in the map. So I would say from the, uh, where is it, Archnem 3. There it is. From that, the bottom one does give quite okay loot, the other ones are pretty much whatever. So don't expect too much from this challenge, but it is very easy to do. If you know what you're looking for, with the spreadsheet you should be able to get this done in a few hours. Have a great day.